All right, part three, the mystery, the supernatural, all right, of Ephi. People want to know what is it about Ephi that's just so powerful, right? Because you think that we're just worshiping some objects, some stones, and just, just dealing with some imitations, not realizing these have power and authority in these emanations, right? So therefore, when we're doing things with the conjure, like my power staff here, right, that was magically gifted, right? We need to know that E5 is an actual supernatural ability. When we make Ebo, when we make this offerings with the Rumala, Ebo, Riru, right, all these different works, it has a science to it. It's a mystery to it. And it's unexplained, right? You can't really even put it in words, but you're going to receive the results. You're going to see the action. You're going to see all that. When you're working with the Yami, the Mother, the IJ, you're going to see them work in mysterious ways. When you're working with um, Orisha IJ, you're going to see the money and prosperity come in ways you don't know, right? So a lot of times when you guys are trying to figure out and hesitate about actually coming on in, you because you don't really understand, that's why you have to do it. You have to make sacrifice. And she favors those who make sacrifice. And then you will see the mysteries revert, work and 